On this episode, we visit the Needles District of Canyonlands National Park. On our visit to Moab, we didn't want to miss out on seeing the Needles District of Canyonlands, so we decided to head there one afternoon after a morning of jeeping. We didn't know if we'd have enough time to see everything, but we hoped to at least get a feel for what was there. On the way, we stopped at Newspaper Rock National Monument, a 200 square foot slab of rock that contains one of the largest petroglyph collections in the U.S. Some of these carvings date back 2,000 years. It was interesting to see all the various animals, people, tools, and other pictures on the rock. I could have studied it for hours, but we had so much more we wanted to see before the sun went down. We continued on down the road and we were treated to one of the most beautiful scenic drives we've ever had the privilege to drive on. We finally made it to the Canyonlands entrance, and the first stop was the Roadside Ruin Trail. This short, easy walk led us to an ancestral Puebloan storage granary. It smells good out here. storage place where they would store their crops or something. And then we were on the road again, headed to the Wooden Shoe Arch viewpoint. It's easy to see how this formation got its name, and the other formations nearby were also interesting to look at. Our next stop was at the Pothole Point. This is about a half mile walking loop that features small depressions or potholes in the rock that collect rainwater during storms. Oh, here's some little potholes. When filled with water, they house various plants and small desert animals. But I don't see much in them. The view from this trail was phenomenal. And we also got to see why they call this the Needles District. We were pleasantly surprised by the fun and beautiful rock formations to walk through and around. We took some time to explore here. Bobby had fun building his very own cairn near others along the path. And of course, I enjoyed capturing several shots with my camera.
I was quite surprised by how much I enjoyed this spot. But finally, it was time to drag ourselves away and head back to the car. Our last stop at the turnaround point was Big Spring Overlook. Here, there were more breathtaking vistas of rock formations and desert canyons, and we had arrived at the perfect time for some really great photography. The sun would be going down soon, so we decided it was time to head back for the day. We enjoyed getting to see the scenery from the other direction this time. We were thoroughly enjoying ourselves until we realized we had a small problem. So one of the um, problems, I guess, with where we're staying is it is out in the middle of nowhere and there's nothing out here and we've been exploring the needles this evening, which is actually <laughs> kind of out by where we're staying and now we're hungry and um, we don't want to drive an hour all the way into Moab to get something to eat. So, nope. so we've been in the Jeep all day. 95% so, um, of the day. So we are going to go visit the thriving metropolis of Monticello, Utah, and uh, because it's only about 20 minutes away from us, so um, we thought we thought 20 minutes sounded a lot better than an hour. And we're going to go see if we can find something to eat. Um, even at this point, a convenience store would be good. <laughs> Anything. We literally have nothing by us except for. <laughs> that little store that we went to the other day and had a hamburger, but they closed at like six. So. It's a cute little store, but like <laughs> yeah, you said, it closed at six. There's so. just nothing in the evenings, and so it is 8:39 now. Yeah, we've been spending all day out exploring, and um, we have some groceries at home, but not not anything we're excited about. So. Yeah, exactly. Thought we might end up eating them. We'll see. Uh, that may we, be true. We might have hot dogs with no buns. <laughs> And we might have cookies. I always go for cookies. And um, I think we have a couple of handfuls of Cheetos left. <laughs> yep, that just might do. So, yeah, it could be interesting. All right, we are going to give the Shake Shack a try because it looks like a cute little hamburger stand type of place. So they were just getting ready to close, but they sold us some ice cream. So not really dinner, but it's still good anyway. And the only thing better than ice cream for dinner was getting to drive by the beautiful Monticello Temple of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints.